So, here's the garden at the beginning of June. Well, it's the first week of June and it's a lovely sunny Saturday. This item here has a lovely smell. Don't know what it is yet, but the neighbour says it makes your skin itch. But it's just got such a lovely jasmine honeysuckle sort of smell. I bought the, the grapevine round to this side of the shed. So that should cover this side of the shed and bring it slowly but surely round to the front. Uh, these are nice, these blue flowers. No idea what they are at all. Again, they look like cornflowers. It's a cornflower blue. Um, here's an apple tree. I'm a bit worried about these apples because some of them have got signs of bad shit going on. Uh, such as... Hmm, can't see any on this one. We don't know what they are yet, whether they're cookers or eaters. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the stuff. Look at that. What is that? I want to call it apple rust, but I don't know if that's a real thing or not. We'll have to find out. But there's there's a few signs of that same thing going on. I tried eating one. It was really bad. See that one there? That's got the same shit on it. So I don't know what that is. But quite often they're looking really healthy. Look at those. They're quite big now. This is one of the trees that we moved from the other allotment and it never had fruit on before but we've got some now. Nice poppy and cornflower. Little cameo there. And this item which is very nice. I think it's, it's possibly an azalea but I don't know. They come and go really quickly the flowers. They seem to be sort of going now but they've only been around for a week. So they didn't last long. And the pears, same thing, I'm worried about these. Look, see that black pear there? Not good, is it? There are plenty of very healthy looking ones, like these, but occasionally, and more, yeah. See, they've gone all black like that, which looks like, could be frost damage, but I don't remember it getting frosty whilst the fruit's been, maybe it was very, very early when the fruit was just forming. Yeah, there's another one. But the ones that are growing, look, don't they look lovely? And they're, and they're red pears as well. I don't know what they are. Fruit cage coming along. We'll go in there, shall we? Yeah. Now let's go around it. Let's go around this way. And we had a fruit cage event with some, there was a rabbit warren in there but it only had babies left in, so I dug it out and the babies escaped and have gone somewhere else. So that's good because we couldn't have them being stuck inside there. Although they're not a threat to the fruit, then they'd only breed and breed more, wouldn't they? Look at that, there's Vicky. She's gardening away there with her garden face on. Down along this bit of the, this, side of the fruit cage is sweet peas all along the bottom there a tiny still but there, there they are they're just starting to look like something now foot high maybe they'll come along in this month a lot but that's that's full of sweet peas and then fruit cage let's have a look inside I've just tied it. Oh shit, that's broken there. <clears throat> so, fruit coming along. We, we start to know what these are now. These little ones here, like that, I think they're all red currants because I saw one earlier that was going red. I bet I can't find it now. Ah, there we are. How about them? That's definitely going red, isn't it? So red currants. Big, that's a big red currant bush, that one. But it's not just that bush. This is a separate one, and those are a lot bigger. 
and if you smell the leaves, they don't smell of black currant, so I don't know what they are, but they're definitely bigger berries, aren't they? Now I tidied all these up. These are all raspberry canes for the future. They'll come on next year. So I don't think we've got that many raspberries this year, but they'll be good next year. The cherry tree, the special cherry tree, this one, tons of cherries on it. There they all are. Uh, just coming down here daily to make sure the birds don't get them because the birds could probably strip a tree like this in a day. Well, not in the fruit cage, but the other one they could. This one in the corner is a, don't know, another currant bush, but there's two currant bushes here because one of them has got a lot of berries on down there. And they're trying to escape from the fruit cage. That's a raspberry? No, that's another berry. That's, that's got berries on it too, but not many. That's a good one, look at that. This weed growing up it, let's get that off. That's actually loaded with big, juicy black currants. So we get this weed off here. Look at that, that's, that's one that's going to be ready real soon. I can't see where that weed's going now. I don't want to rip it off because we'll rip the fruit off. I think I've got it anyway. And more, ah, that's another red one there. Look, really lovely colour on that. Red currant. In fact, I think I'll eat that one. That's so red. Mmm, yeah. Hardly got any... Oh yes, it has got taste. Mmm. Gooseberries? Don't think I'll eat one of those. And they're not showing so much sign of being red now, are they? They were really red when they were tiny. But they're not so red now. That one's got a little sort of flush to it. Shall I eat one? It'd make me go funny, won't it? Because they're so sour. They're not even vaguely soft. No, I'm not eating that. And this is definitely black currant. Yep. Yeah. Lots of lots of black currants on there. Lupins. Ah, look at that. That's the. That's to scare the bunnies. It is quite scary as it is and it's scaring me but that will scare the bunnies because the bunnies like to live next to this. This is the asparagus bed and there's, there's still more to come. You've got to look real carefully for them. Um, I'm sure I had some more here earlier. Damned if I can see them now. No, no, can't see. There's one there though, there's two there. There's one, that's a fairly weedy one. But that one in the middle there looks like it's uh, a lot better. Yeah. So they're still coming. We've probably had a couple of bunches so far, but there's still more to come. I'm sure I saw one in there earlier. Can't see it now though. Um, plum trees. Plum trees, we're looking for plums now. Ah, oh, there we are, I hadn't seen one before. There's a plum. One there. Uh, there's another one. Uh, I think I just stood on it. I heard it. That was the sound of it. Asparagus crunch then. And I can't see it. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's plenty of plums on this one. Look at them. Plum. Plum, 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 plum. plum. So that's one plum. This tree was an odd one because it had no 
um, we don't know what it is, I think it's an apple, but it had no flowers on except for one which was there. Only one flower, so only one apple. One apple tree. The other cherry tree, which they're, they're just starting to change colour now. Look at these. Oops. The wind is getting them. See, there'll be loads on there. Lots of cherries on there, but I fear because it's uncovered. There was two huge pigeons sitting on here chomping at them the other day and they wouldn't go. I couldn't scare them away. I had to climb the tree and literally push them off and then they didn't go. So I can only come down here every day to scare them away. Look at these. Here's the grapes coming along. There they are. Little bunches of grapes. Of course they're not hanging down yet because they don't weigh anything. So when they get a bit of weight to them they'll all drop down and hang through there so we can just <laughs> eat them like that. There, look at those in there. Fantastic. Bunches of grapes, that's what they are. Um, yeah, this is, what is this? Oh, it's another plum tree. Look, there's a bunch of plums there. Nice bunch of plums. Um, what have we got? Sweet William bed. Look at these sweet Williams. I've never managed to grow sweet Williams before and I love them, especially at this time of year. This is sweet William time. Look at them. This nursery bed has got in uh, delphiniums and nigella for next year. And this little row is all of sunflowers. So that will make a sort of wall of sunflowers there coming along and then this whole bed is of dahlias, some better than others. Uh, yeah, I seem to remember them being a bit bigger than this, this time last year, but they'll come. And some gladioli in the end. Onion bed, full of onions. These all were transplanted and they're all working now. Vicky's tidied this bed up today, so it's got some little baby spring onions, radishes, and that kind of stuff. Potatoes, all coming along. Lots of potatoes there coming along. This bed, which is just full of thistles, really, and uh, doesn't look much at the moment, but those are Brussels sprouts, so they never look much at this time, but they will come December. How you doing, Vic? What have you got? Loads of roots. I think it might be from that hedge. Roots, big ones. Yeah, quite big. Yeah. Uh, that See? looks like nettle to me. No, it's not it's nettle. It's yellow. No, it's not nettle. Okay. Nettle isn't. It's not so. That's sort of more like tree roots. So that, that'll have to stay. Okay. <laughs> that, that's honestly, that's come from there. Righto. It's not nettle. I can tell nettle. These are good. I'm wondering what they're going to do, these leek flowers. They look like they're going to burst into big yeah. allium type flowers, don't they? I quite like them left like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put the spinach in the gaps here. Okay. Got quite a few, so. Got a bit of nasturtium growing up this tree stump. Cover that. Uh, this is my bed for carrots, and it's sort of protected from the carrot fly, but I think there's only about four carrots. In, you know? Yeah, I think I might buy some, Vic. Just yeah. as easy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, nursery beds, one, two. Not much happening at the moment, but they'll come. Um, in this one, this strange looking bed here, these are the asparagus and they're all being left to go and flower like that. Really hard to see aren't they? They're quite delicate but probably look better when I've tidied this whole bed up. Also in this bed is, whoop, oh dear, broken it. <laughs> in this bed that's a, 
a globe artichoke. So there's a row of those, about 10 of them in there. Globe artichokes and asparagus together. And probably best thing in the garden at the moment is these broad beans, which look lovely. Vicky tidied the bed up and I nipped the tops out of the shoots. I'm not sure if I did that a bit too early or not, but they're starting to form beans down the bottom there and you can just see the beginnings of them. Once they do that, you nip the top and that helps the beans to set better, apparently. And last thing of all is this row of peas here, which I've never had much success at before because the mice always seem to get them, but these look all right. I got the plants off Cambridge Market and they're really quite big, so that gives us a, a real head start with them. Doesn't it? Yes, it does.